Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia Lott and this channel is for those of you who want to have a journaling routine that is messy, minimalist, and low budget. And for those of you who want to use journaling for mental health and growth and feelings and stuff. So this week, I will be making some changes to my bullet journal as I tend to do. And as I do that, I want to be thinking as my mantra, beware of busy work. Busy work is kind of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Like there are many things that you have to do on a daily basis that are possibly good for you. They might be things that you have to do or things that you are doing for other people. And you know, on the surface, there's nothing wrong with them. And they, you know, can bring a lot of results to your life and they can be very productive. But at the same time, they may be taking away your time, your energy, your attention, your focus away from things that you actually want to do and things that would actually push you forward toward reaching your goals. I think for the past couple of years especially, I've been very focused on just walking and exercise and feeling healthy or healthier. <laughs> I go definitely up and down on that. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I, I, of course, I think I need exercise in my life. I don't wanna ever just be completely without doing any, any sort of exercise. But I think sometimes that I focus too much on that, especially with counting steps and, you know, making sure that I'm doing a certain amount of time every day. You know, I tend to, as an ADHD or I do tend to kind of hyper focus on certain things that are not the best things to be focusing on. So I want to definitely change that going forward in my bullet journal. So yeah, there's, there's just a lot of stuff here that know upon first glance it looks great and then now that I'm looking at it I'm like do I really care about that or do, does this need to be a weekly task or does this need to be a goal that I focus on for three months maybe not you know so I'm going to make some changes if you have a to-do list in your bullet journal or if you have a, a habit tracker I just want you to flip through and kind of see is this activity is this something that I'm going to care if I do this thing every day am I going to care about it 10 years from now even a year from now or six months from now am I gonna care about that that I did that thing hmm we don't know is this something that might be busy work is this something that I'm doing to avoid doing something else that is more important to me or because I'm afraid to do it maybe or because I know it's going to be difficult once you figure out what that busy work is maybe see how you can eliminate that or maybe just shift the focus away from that I didn't want to know all that you just wanted to see my quote of the week don't confuse activity with productivity many people are simply busy being busy and that is by Robin Sharma Robin Sharma is an author he wrote a book that I read a couple years ago I may revisit it at some point it's called the 5 a.m. club and it was one of the books that really motivated me to start waking up earlier Yay, we are on the week of May 26th through June 1st. And, uh, I do want to continue walking. Um, but then down here I have that I am going to write 500 words a day if it kills me and I know that it won't but I just having a daily writing habit has always been a problem for me but I know that if I want to be a writer that's what I need to do yes it is something that I can do every day it's just that I have to figure out how I'm going to do that as far as like my environment I get really distracted um and then just yeah what I do with the 500 words after I write them that might be an issue as well but we're not going to worry about that right now <laughs> we're just going to write the words so yes that's going to be a daily task from now on I hope to see myself a year from now and I will have amassed all of these words
and it would be beautiful. What I don't have here, what which is what I've had here for probably over a year, <laughs> if not two years, uh, my bedtime. So I'm no longer <laughs> going to put bed at 9.30 or 9.30 9 30 p.m. I do plan on going to bed at a decent hour. I just I am okay with the amount of sleep I'm getting I guess I don't care that much anymore <laughs> so I'm not gonna put it I, I'm I, I never go to bed at actually 9 30 and that's okay and I'm still alive. This is my completed right hand side of my weekly spread. I'm gonna just highlight the week. We are at the end of May. We have survived the month of May. All right, in this upper quadrant, third, what would this be? Sixth kind of of the page, I'm gonna put my weekly tasks. And this week, I'm just going to try to keep it very simple. I mean, there are weekly tasks that I need to do that are outside of my goals and stuff. Like, there are things that I do have to do. I have to pay my bills, of course. I have to do my hair. I'm still going to do that on Tuesday. Um, but there are other things that aren't here, like laundry. I do that every other week. Like, different things. So, I want to just make it as uncomplicated as possible. I have two things that I really, really want to focus on. I am want, I have been wanting for weeks now to start a blog, and so I actually need to write, you know, <laughs> need to write something to put in the blog. So <laughs> I'm gonna focus on that. I don't have the actual like website thing set up yet. I'm still working on that. I've been kind of goofing around trying to figure out themes and or what website I want. To, yeah, so there's just, there are a lot of kind of technical design things that I am taking too much time thinking about but the writing part I can still do that now and maybe just not actually put any so this is me procrastinating but trying not to procrastinate anyway so I'm going to at least start to get in a routine of writing and publishing a blog post that is my goal so blogging and YouTube that's all I want to put in this weekly task section right now. Writing in YouTube, yes, this is what I want to focus on right now. I tried to schedule things so that there be minimal overlap on deadline days, you know, so I have published the blog post by Friday at 12 noon, and then shooting of the YouTube video, that usually doesn't happen until later in the afternoon, so as long as I have the brainstorming of the YouTube, you know, at least as long as I know what the topic is going to be and, you know, my quotes and all of that, all of the stuff that you're watching right now, like as, as long as I have that fleshed out by Friday, having editing and everything for YouTube done Friday, or excuse me, Saturday at 5 p.m., that is very important to me. And yeah, just having everything ready to go. Video published by 6 p.m. on Saturday. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Just have all the thumbnail and stuff done, all the behind, all the behind the scenes, all of the magic that happens to bring this to your screen. Aren't you so impressed? With the blog, just having like a rough draft by Wednesday evening and then have it published. So. I don't know if this is going to be realistic, but it just depends on how long the blog post is and all of that stuff and 
Yeah, so we're just gonna try it out. We're just gonna try it out. Yes. Yes, so these are my three little goals for the second quarter of 2024. And I got rid of some things that I didn't either didn't care about or I had already accomplished. And I was tired of just giving myself free dopamine every week by crossing the little check mark every week for something that I accomplished like a month ago. So I got rid of it. And um, there were just things that didn't need to be there. Um, so these, I'm just trying to keep it simple. And I feel that these are things that will get me to where I want to be. So there we go. Hello everyone. I was editing this video and I realized that I did not, I either didn't shoot footage of myself reading my weekly intention or it's just gone. I don't know where it is. So I thought I would take a moment, say hello, and I'm going to read this to you. Hmm. So my intention for the week, I intend to continue seeking autonomy, adventure, curiosity, and wealth. So backstory, uh, a few months ago, I met with a career counselor and they told me, oh, Alicia, write your values. And they just give me a, a long list of words that I should write down. And those are the, the things that I hold most dear in life. And so those were my four things, autonomy, adventure, curiosity, and wealth. I can't stop figuring out how my brain works and what routines and processes work best for me. I will start delegating and eliminating tasks, more tasks that are unnecessary and what does that say? <laughs> I can't read my handwriting. And rob me of time and energy. I will figure stuff out. And I hope that you have a good week and I hope that this was helpful for you. Please like this video if you liked it. That is, I hope you did. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I'm going to give you my favorite thing, which is an upside down wave. Goodbye. Hi. Do that. Have a good week.